Hey, this is Stephen from Legit PC, and uh, today we're going to go over the Asus 23-inch uh, LCD, the two millisecond uh, kind of gaming edition, and this is the LS238, which you see over here in the front, and uh, this is the two millisecond gray to gray. It is the non-IPS display, so of course, it, uh, if you guys don't know, IPS is where you can have multiple viewing angles. Uh, this particular one is the gaming version, so it has two milliseconds gray to gray rather than on the other, rather than on the other uh, LCD, which I also have, and I'll do a review on later, which is IPS. It's five milliseconds gray to gray. Uh, this particular display has um, 60 hertz uh, refresh rate, which is, you know, isn't super great. Even smaller resolution monitors have 65 hertz uh, refresh rate, but uh, you know, no real big deal. So I just wanted to get that out there as far as, uh, you know, what, what it's about. So in this review, I'm going to be uh, go showing you guys a close-up of the box and not necessarily contents of the box because I'm using most of it. As you can see, powering the display, which I have just my uh, laptop powering it right now and it's running the, the rain meter, uh, a rain meter desktop. So, but I'll show you how... Uh, what's in the box and uh, what the chances are that your your contents could be damaged in shipment so let's go ahead and do that right now I mean I'll show you guys a close-up of this later do a section for each portion but as you see it's got this uh, form um, this foam where it sits inside and uh, it has two pieces of this and it also the screen is covered in the bag in this large bag here and shipment and basically that's how they ship it so it's uh chances of it getting damaged are very slim to none uh but you know there's still a possibility that it could fall out of a truck or something but not really that big of a deal so chances of it being damaged at the store or in shipment very low great display i've been using it for a while now about maybe three or four months and it's my main gaming display and it's a great budget display it's about 140 bucks and uh, I would highly recommend it. And, of course, we'll go into all the in-depth of what the connectors are on the back here, as well as, uh, you know, looking at display closely and things like that. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get into it. So we're going to go ahead and start the review of this particular monitor, and I'll tell you guys what I like and what I don't like about it, as well as uh, all the options that it has. So let's get started. All right, and we are back, and we are going to look at uh, the Asus box here. So uh, let me go ahead and read you guys what's on the box. So here in the bottom corner it says LED. Here it says full 1080p. This is a full 1080p monitor. And then it says uh, 50 million to 1. So uh, it's a high contrast ratio. Of course it's using the backlight because it's an LED, right? So it changes the backlight in order to get that high contrast. Depending, and this is of course is the dynamic if you're using dynamic contrast. And uh, smart view... I mean, I don't know why they really say this because, of course, it's not an IPS display. So uh, it doesn't have really crazy viewing angles. It's got the Splendid, which I'll show you guys a little bit. I don't use it too much. I only go with the original and just change a little bit of the brightness and whatnot. And then it says Asus. And like I said before, this is the VS238 LCD monitor from Asus. Uh, so here it says Inspiring Innovation, Persistent Perfection. And you can see from Newegg, it kind of got beat up, but yeah. It says the same thing on the other side, and uh, inside, you know, it's got the, it's got two foam pieces. As you see here, it's got a little capsulation here, and it kind of just goes in there like that. And, uh, and yeah, it's got the bag, and also inside you'll get, you know, the DVI and the VGA connector and the power connector, and uh, pretty much all you need to get started, unless you're using HDMI, it does not come with an HDMI connector. So. Uh, yeah, you're pretty much ready to go. As far as uh, this monitor is concerned, you can just plug and play, and chances of it getting damaged in shipment are pretty low. So uh, we'll go ahead and take a close-up look at the monitor while it's displaying the the um, the rain meter, and uh, also we'll go through some of the options there, and then we'll get a closer look at it and the connections on the back. All right, and uh, that'll be the next portion. All right, and we are back looking at uh, this particular monitor here, and uh, you know, as you can see, it's it's pretty clear. 
but in some games, of course, and some other things, you could see some lines depending on your graphics card or whatnot. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, the Splendid. Now, the Splendid guy would be... Which one was it again? It's this guy right here. So here's the standard mode, which is the one I always use, theater mode, game mode, night view mode, sRGB, where it's supposed to retain the RGB values for doing graphic design and stuff like that, scenery mode, and standard mode. So I usually run with standard mode, and uh, I drop the brightness down. It keeps it from hurting your eyes a lot. If you guys are going straight to LEDs, from a, a different LCD, uh, it will really hurt your eyes if you have the brightness really high, especially if you have to look at, at it during the dark or whatever. So I would suggest turning down the LED, uh, turning down the LED brightness, and uh, I'll show you guys that right now through the menu. So here you see the splendid, uh, the different modes as well as the color brightness, contrast, color temp, smart view, things like that. Uh, image selection, input selection, and system setup. So, uh, yeah. And of course it has, uh, you know, the name of the, the name of the uh, LCD here up top, and the menu, and exit, and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, exit. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward uh, monitor, and pretty basic controls, and it's great for gaming. And like I said, it's a budget monitor, so you can get it for 130 bucks, and uh, you're good to go. You're ready to play with, uh, you know, 60 60 hertz refresh rate and a pretty decent monitor. I mean, 23 inches for me, that would probably be the biggest I would go, uh, just because you know the the larger you go, the uh, more the more time it takes for your eye to go from certain parts of the screen, things like that. But I've seen people work with uh, bigger, but yeah. So, like I said, this is a this is an LCD. I mean, chances are, if I do a test with uh, the viewing angle, chances are you're not going to be able to see it with the cam with the camera. It doesn't really represent it. But basically, be prepared to look straight on. This isn't really a computer where you'll, where you're going to display your uh, your programming or your graphic design projects to your friends to like six or seven colleagues you'd want an IPS uh, display for that so they could look at it from different angles and still be able to view it and chances are if you're doing things like that you're not going to want the two milliseconds anyways and the IPS is the same price but this is for the gamers right this is for the gamers out there that want to do either PC of course which my channel is about or Xbox alright so we're going to look at the connections and then uh, we're going to go on to uh, the conclusion of this review All right, and we are back taking a look at uh, this particular monitor. And uh, as you see, very nice monitor. It's got the Asus down here in the bottom, and it's got this little pad that screws on with this thimble here. And uh, so basically, it's toolless design, and it's a pretty nice stand. You know, not super crazy expensive or anything like that, but it's pretty nice. Down over here in this corner, you see the HDMI, as well as you see the controls here. And uh, the controls are here on the bottom. And so the controls are here, buttons on the bottom. It's not a touch, but they kind of hide it on the bottom. Kind of cool. So uh, you guys can, you know, just see which which ones those correspond to there. As well as it's got an indicator LED right here. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the back. So here you go on the back. Here's your power over here. Then you got, uh, yeah, screw, yeah. HDMI, uh, DVI, VGA, and... Uh, a mic. I mean, not a mic, sorry, a headphone. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much uh, this monitor here. And as you can see, it's pretty nice. It's got a nice bezel and things like that. It's got a nice uh, black bezel. And uh, on the back, this is Asus, and you got your standard mount, standard VESA mount here with your four holes. It's got a little grommets that come out. It says Asus here. You got your cooling pieces here. And as well as, you know, serial number and things like that down there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go to the conclu uh, conclusion of this uh, review. And I'll tell you guys uh, what I think. 
All right, and we are back with the conclusion of the VS-238. And uh, this particular monitor, I really like it. Uh, I bought it, of course, with a budget, and that is great for just an overall around gaming. You know, of course, it doesn't do any of the 3D stuff, and, you know, you can't wear the glasses and do 3D and whatnot. It doesn't have 120 hertz. Refresh rate. Uh, it's not super crazy accurate as far as the RGB. But it's got two milliseconds, it's um, low latency, very quick monitor, and uh, very smooth, you know. Some games, like some Call of Duty games or some low graphics games, I get up to 200 and not see some crazy tearing or anything like that. So it's really a great monitor. And of course, very, very, very deep colors, uh, very nice uh, bright colors. Like I said, you might want to drop it down because the brightness is really, really high on stock and it will really hurt your eyes. So as you saw, I have the brightness all the way down to like 23. And uh, so that's pretty much what I run with it. Otherwise, you know, for 140 bucks, perfect for someone starting out with gaming or even veteran gamers to play with a low latency uh, monitor. And, uh, it's, you know, 140 bucks, two seconds, great, great. Uh, 50,000 dynamic contrast ratio, 50, 50 million to one, um, and uh, 1080p, 23-inch monitor. It's really a great buy, and uh, I really liked it, so I, I hope that you guys really like it and are watching this review and thinking about picking it up, because I would highly recommend it. So uh, this has been Steven from LegitPC, and uh, this is a review on the VS-238. From, Asu, uh, from Asus, and uh, I really recommend it if you're thinking about buying it. And uh, if you like this, these kind of videos, please subscribe for more like them. And thanks for watching.